Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a review of Morning Fame. Morning Fame is a keyword research tool for YouTube. Morning Fame specializes in two things, analytics report and also keyword research. With the analytics report, it gives you a simplified way to look at your analytics on YouTube so you can see whether or not your channel is growing or your channel could be doing better. Not only that, but it lets you know which videos are doing the best for you so you can try to implement those videos more often and which ones you should avoid. With the keyword research tool, it's just that you're able to research keywords or topics. You can find out whether or not that topic is trending. And if it is trending, is it too competitive for your channel at this point? Or is it not trending enough so it would not help your channel grow? I would like to say that it is invitation only. So look in the description box and you can use my link to get a month for free. With that being said, let me go ahead and show you more of Morning Fame. This is the Morning Fame homepage. As I scroll down, you can see that it says Morning Fame is invitation only. So you do need an invitation code. I'm already signed in. So what I wanna do is go ahead and go log in. What I'm gonna do is go to analytics report first. The first thing that we see on the analytics report is the traction. It says, do you improve with each video? Analyzes your latest 20 videos, which are at least seven days old. And the biggest thing right there, it says channel growth speeding up. And the answer is yes. Not only that, but it has a metal right here. And also it has a couple medals and some couple of checks as well. And I'm going to go all the way down to the legends so you can see exactly what those mean. And then you have the Z's, which is below average. The gray check, which is below, but close to average. Green check is above average. The metal is high above average. And then the trophy is very high above average. And then you also have at the bottom, it says whether it's speeding up, it's speeding up a lot or speeding up a ton. It's going back up. You can see that everything looks good. This, my channel has been growing and it's been growing a good amount. So if I go down, it says how much did each video contribute to the growth of your channel? One thing you have to remember is that it has to be at least seven days old for it to say whether or not it really helped the channel or not. But you can also still see the ones that are up here less than seven days old. So. This was 17 hours ago and you have keeping pace right now. This one three days ago speeding up. This one was five days ago speeding up a ton. Not only that, but this one also gives a little more details because of how well it's doing. So you can see that it says it's the average long view duration. It has many comments. It has many shares. I should try to keep doing videos like this to keep the channel growing in a good pace. So let's go ahead and go to strategy. On strategy, it says, how strong is your channel's performance? So you can see that I have views, watch time, engagement, and subscribers. And then you have the average and how I'm doing as far as the average is concerned. So my views, my engagement, and my subscribers are doing above average, but it says that I can focus on my watch time and I can scroll down to see growth performances. It says create more like these because these videos have done well for me overall. And you can actually see that two of these videos up here are pretty similar. So I have tried to do that and it did work in that situation. Now you have at the bottom, it says instead of these, try something new because these did not perform well for me, either for a reason that they were too competitive for me to actually get ranked or people didn't like them. Scrolling down, you can see how your series doing. So it tells you overall how your series are doing. And you can see that some are doing well, some are doing just okay. And then I have some that aren't doing as well. When you first start using Morning Fame, Workshop and Velocity will be locked. You'll need to have five videos up on your channel and be using Morning Fame for at least a week to unlock Workshop. And you'll need to have at least two videos up and wait 24 hours after both of them have been published in order to gain velocity. When you get access to Workshop, you can see how strong your channel's performance is in detail. You can see it by views, watch time, engagement, and subscribers. And right below that, you have the growth opportunities, in which case it gives you more details and more suggestions based on how well your channel is doing. 
Go into Velocity, you'll be able to see your most recent videos. They'll have a chart for both views and likes. And you can also compare some of your most videos between each other and also click on details. You can also sort by date, views, likes, playlists, and type. Another thing they have up here is appealing thumbnails, in which case you can check out to see if your thumbnails have a consistent look. More than Fame also asks you, do your thumbnails work even if they are small? And it gives you your four most recent ones and asks you to check them out and see if they actually work. More than Fame also asks you, which thumbnail would you click? Does your thumbnail actually compare to the ones that are up and ranking right now? In which case, if they aren't, then it would be a good idea for you to go back and redo them. In which case, I think my thumbnails are doing pretty well. The last tab I want to show is the algorithm, in which case it detects YouTube's algorithm to promote you. You can see that the way I get promoted the most on YouTube is by search. And then it also goes down to suggested videos and then so on and so forth. This tab is still a work in progress, so there may be a couple of hiccups, but for me, I didn't really use this. Next, I wanna show you is the keyword research tool. I'm not gonna be going over this in depth today. Instead, I'll be doing a separate video on this at a later time, in which case I'll be going in depth on how you can create a good video title, description, and tags to get optimized with the SEO. But let's take a quick look at the research tool. You can see that there's four steps, topic, keyword, search, and optimize. The first step is topic. Do you have a video topic in mind? If you don't have a video topic in mind and you've seen another video that has inspired you, you can go down and you can put in the video link to go to step two from here. You can also scroll down and you can see create more of these, in which case it takes a couple of your best performing videos and ask if you want to use those as inspiration for your next video topic. You can go down even more and you can get ideas from other channels that are similar to yours based on recent tags that you've used. Once you figure out what you want to do, it'll take you to step two, in which case you'll have your main keyword, which is the topic you selected. And then you can see that there's other common keywords that are similar to your main keyword. And then there are uncommon keywords as well. You can see each keyword ends up having a score based on your own performance on where your channel is right now. The better the score, the better it is for your channel. As well as keywords, they have common hashtags that people use for that topic as well. And then under hashtags, it has the top ranking video as well as some of the other ranked videos and the tags that they use. But after you decide which tag you wanna use, you can go to step three. You can see the rating system at step three. You have rankings from A to F. And they also have four different categories, which is channel views, views, likes and comments, and then relevance. And based on these factors, Morning Fame rates your channel how well it would do with these topics. After you pick a topic that you want to use, you can go to step four, which is optimizing your title, description, and tags for the highest relevancy rate that you can get for this particular keyword. And what you want to do is fill this out to get as high of a score as you can. One of the last things I want to show about Morning Fame is that they give you a report on how your video is doing within the last 24 hours. You can see that this one says 24 hours ago I published how to create PayPal personal account. It shows me how well my video is doing, how well my thumbnail holds up against the others. And not only that, but it shows the search ranking up here as well. So if I am on the first page, I can see that over here. And if it has any suggestions to changes I should make, then it will show it under here. Now it doesn't have any suggestions on this particular page, but that's perfectly fine. If you decide that you wanna keep going with Modern Fame after the first month, you have two plans. You have the basic plan and the plus plan. The only difference between these plans is that the basic plan has a limited amount of time. You can use the research tool. When you start a session, you can use it for 24 hours, but after that session has ended, you can't use it again until 12 days. So overall, I think Modern Fame gives you a good amount of content for the amount of money that you spend on it. There are a couple of things I don't like about it. Uh, one thing being the traction. I don't like how that's updated every seven days. 
I mean, really, I wish it was updated every day. There might be a reason that that is not the case, but I mean, in all honesty, I don't really care. I, I want what I want. It just kind of is what it is. The other thing is that the research tool, you can only use that every 12 days with the basic plan. Like, I don't like that. Why can't you use that like every, I don't know, every three or four days? Like, why does it have to be 12 days? That seems incredibly long. In the research tool, sometimes the search results aren't always accurate. One of fame search results might be different than YouTube's is, in which case it's not to a point where I just completely don't like it or anything, but it is worth saying. No research tool that I've used so far is 100% in that regard, and I've used vidIQ and TubeBuddy as well. So even with those flaws or gripes or however you wanna look at them, I expect one of fame to grow and get better, and I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. So what do you think of Morning Fame? Are you using something similar? Let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you liked the information. If it was useful to you, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out from me because I make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.